And now we're gonna toss the nade, just like that. And I know we're gonna take a lot of damage, but YOLO, YOLO, we just wanna- Hey! Get them caught in that blast. Knock, knock! It's party o'clock, baby. Bada bing. Bada boom! Ooh, everybody, welcome back to the episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we got quite the grenade themed episode in store for you guys because today we got a huge amount of grenades we are going to be using for a variety of reasons because I want this to kind of serve as a little bit of a grenades 101 video showcasing you guys everything you need to know about nades, the best places they should be used. And we're also going to be doing a little bit of grenade raiding and testing if they might even be viable in raids. So we got a whole ton of dope stuff lined up and let's go ahead and begin over here at home before we head on out and actually showcase one of the very useful areas that I think you will find grenades to come in very handy, especially now that there is a quest associated with it, and that is the witch. But we'll go ahead and get into that in a little bit. So these grenades are items that can often be found within the new locked chest. Specifically, we actually went over it in the last couple of episodes. We've been going over a whole ton of different areas. You can find chests. There's, all right, there's a ton of locations in the bunker, including the chest at the end of the fourth floor, which does require burglar level three, and a lot of these chests do require different levels of the burglar skill but uh for example that one i'm talking about at the end of floor four has like three we found three grenades in there dude usually i've been finding like one grenade in locked chests but we found three over there there's locations within the police station that has we might even make a pit stop over there a little bit later as well and even random zones such as the green zones yellow zones red zones can have locked chests that do have a chance of containing the grenades as well so that's about the main method of finding them now once you have them they are something that is not a primary weapon they serve as kind of an aid they can only be put within your pocket and potential extra pocket that you may have from there if you go ahead and hold on it you can see that you have the ability to throw a grenade now what you will do is you want to move the opposite way of where you want to throw and pretty much the further back you pull the further you can see that our guy will throw it so you can also go ahead and cancel this by moving around just using that little joystick right over there that will cancel any throw that is in progress in case you want to repeat uh, rethink things and there's also this ability here, and we're going to showcase pretty much the three different types of grenade throws, and I know this is going to use some of our grenade, but listen, I'm more than happy to showcase this so you guys know I don't mind blowing through some of my own stuff if it means I can be helpful to you guys. So, the way that might actually end up being the most useful is a simple tap of the grenade. That will be an underhand throw that will then explode right over there, and by the looks of you guys can see the radius that it left. It appears that it has a radius very similar to a grenade launch into the AK active skill grenade launcher attachment and that would make sense because that is the other instances of the grenade that we have seen but that is the little drop throw which will allow you to throw it pretty quickly because it just requires a tap and it, it doesn't really require any aiming or anything like that however if you would like to aim it there are a couple of throwing possibilities there's also all these areas in between they could go ahead and gauge and you can see the further we pull back you guys can see those arrows continue to point further and further away so it just showcase roughly how far a close throw is I'm trying to get this absolutely as close as possible and you could see that's right around here so we go ahead and toss that and that is a close throw you can see it goes right around that distance so a little bit maybe twice as far as that drop shot that we just showcased let's just go ahead and showcase that and you can see it does look like it goes right about twice as far i know it hurts to see these grenades go like this and then finally our final bad usage of the grenade we're gonna go through before we can finally put these bad boys to use is the maximum throw and that can be accomplished by pulling it all the way back and if we go ahead and sauce that bad boy you can see that is a little bit of a chuck all the way from there it went pretty much over there so that's a little bit of like a grenade sniper that you can bring on out now what are the scenarios where these grenades could come in handy and mainly you're gonna want to save these grenades for large crowds of enemies a couple of the very hot topics i would say that come to mind would be the witch and also the police station and all the different waves that it does present pretty much any type of area where a ton of zombies are running at you that is going to be a pretty viable area for you to put these grenades to use especially because they are easier to find than pretty much all other things that like you don't need an active skill mod for these you don't need a freaking grenade launcher pretty much the rarest weapon in the game like it's pretty reasonable in terms of being able to use it so bless up that they have added in this kind of like cheaper option that does require you to find these and they are single use but nonetheless still pretty dope if you ask me so we're gonna go and showcase using it at the witch which is probably where a lot of you guys will end up using it especially since the witch 
is now a potential quest you could get for the raider quest since this last update update 1.11.6 did add in the raiders in a revamped quest system well it didn't add in the raiders but it added in revamped quests new quests that we haven't seen before all that type of jazz and uh, one of them is to kill the witch which is obviously going to be a little bit on the trickier side but grenades do serve a very good purpose and also as a little bit of clarification guys this is the alpha that we are in update 1.11.6 is not yet out we are alpha testing it so they are currently trying to work out the last bit of bugs within it and i did have the privilege of being able to hop into this early so huge thank you to kafir for giving us that privilege to help them bug test and to help show off a lot of things for you guys so you are prepared for when the update itself does come so just a little bit of clarification there but the good news is is that it is an alpha alpha testing so it does appear that it is pretty close around the corner and definitely something to be keeping your eyes and ears peeled upon and there's actually a little something that i wanted to get your guys's thoughts on regarding the grenade and maybe if we could cause enough ruckus around this we could even get kafir to like respond to it or do something about it but given the fact that grenades have been added in and the witch has become this pretty hot topic quest for the raiders i was thinking dude we should be able to use grenades for these things instead of having to use c4 because currently dude like come on man using c4 especially if you're gonna make attacking the witch one of the freaking like raider quests i just don't think that it like making it reasonable because like realistically unless you have a lot of armor and a lot of heals if you're not using the c4 on these guys or if you're not using really good grenade tactics for example like we're about to showcase it is can be rather challenging and rather expensive of a boss battle so i think it'd be pretty fair for kafir and this is something i'd really love to see to allow you to like plant a grenade in here instead of shooting a grenade launcher or not shooting a grenade launcher but instead of putting a c4 in there maybe like using one or two grenades per one of those i think that'd be a pretty fair trade-off and a cool new way of leveraging grenades and then allowing us to save that c4 for the raid that we would probably be doing this quest for in the first place you know what i'm saying but let me know what you guys think regarding that in that comment section down below that's definitely an idea that i started thinking of and i really want to get you guys' thoughts and opinions on and i'd love to hear what you guys think about the grenade launcher in general not the grenade launcher god dang it i'm too used to that being the only grenade object in the game i'd love to and right now we're just clearing out all the enemies around this perimeter so we don't need to deal with unnecessary enemies as we are clearing out the witch because this is just in general pretty good practice because when you are doing the witch boss battle you are likely going to be running around the edge of the map especially with the tactic that i'm going to showcase but uh, back to what I was saying, let me know what you guys think regarding the grenades, like what you guys think of them, like if you think that they're like for the value that they provide, if you think that like it's pretty good the way that they currently pop up. Game, you better not lag in the middle of this boss battle, man, okay? I would be very salty. Oh, mama, dude, the game is making me, it's making me a little bit nervous right now with some of these random little jitters we're getting. But uh, let me know what you guys think regarding the grenade and regarding my potential idea of using the grenade as like a C4 substitute in a context like this. I think it could be pretty cool and honestly could make a decent amount of sense and i don't know i'd love to see it and i'd really love to get your guys' thoughts around this as well and like i'm saying let me know what you guys just think about the grenade in general if you like it as an addition maybe some improvements you might want to see to the grenade like for example one thing that i think there could be cool is maybe some way to have the grenade like to be able to throw it at an enemy specifically instead of like needing to aim it or needing to tap it and do that under barrel throw maybe you could just flat out like baseball throw that thing at 100 mile per hour fastball at a zombie like make some kind of an option for it to be throwable and like aimable as well since pretty much everything in the game is aimable but i don't know let me know what you guys think about it in that comment section it's down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into week to five dollar i do such place store gift card giveaway all i gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure to subscribe to that letter for you and on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information because as soon as anything new is coming out about the game ow that hurt you freaking which we're always staying as up to date with it as possible and oh baby here's where the going's gonna get rough and here's where we're gonna try to showcase the usage that this bad boy will give us now usually we would use our spread shot in this context but i'm gonna showcase why the grenade might end up coming in handy and how we want to use it so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and uh this is getting very scary but let's toss the nade oh hello you're gonna toss that nade there big boy okay toss the nade there we go and then we're just gonna want to try to run around it a little bit and kapooey unfortunately we didn't get everyone caught in that one so hold on let's just calm things down a little bit and take these dudes out and take out their freaking diseased wolf brethren but long story short that's what you want to do it's going to be very similar to the tactic that 
you use if you're using a grenade launcher where you kind of want to get caught in the blast yourself unless you have like perfect timing on it which is not easy to do not one bit but if you can't end up timing it perfectly you might be able to actually escape your own grenades blast but i i was just start panicking i didn't i didn't want to have too much uh, armor damage happen to us because that can always be a bad thing i just want to go ahead and blow through some of this witch's health right over here she should be calling her reinforcements any moment now there we go and we're gonna go ahead and get that grenade over there and get a new shotgun over there and hokey dokey we got the the big boys coming up on us i'm just gonna take out some of these diseased wolves because they're always super annoying to deal with and here we got the crow to zombies coming up yet again so here's also what i'm gonna try to do i'm going to utilize a little bit of the sprinting skill here and try to chain this together i know the witch is healing as i'm doing this but i'm just trying to showcase this we're gonna go ahead and sprint to get a little bit of distance from these guys and now we're gonna toss the nade just like that and i know we're gonna take a lot of damage but yolo yolo we just wanna hey Get them caught in that blast like that, and there you have a budget way of taking out the witch's minions. Now, it, like I'm saying, it is going to do some damage to your armor. That is something you need to take into account, and the fact that you need to be ready to heal as soon as that damage is done happening as well. But it does give you a great budget option, because otherwise, the only way to be able to clear these guys out in, like, a mass context... Shotgun rain to you. Goodbye, Mrs. Witch, and let's get out of here. But otherwise, the only way to be able to clear out this witch in a mass crowd control context is going to be with pretty much one of three things the ak grenade launcher active skill mod active skill mods are not cheap so uh, that might be hard to get the shotgun spread shot active skill mod again that's an extremely rare skill mod that you need to learn and then a very expensive mod you need to build and then there is the grenade launcher which is pretty much the rarest weapon you could find in the game all of these options are have kind of something in common here they are expensive right but the grenades give you kind of like your best bet at being able to tackle that thing and i know a lot of people were worried about this witch's boss battle being expensive because like if you don't have any of those things or c4 to blow up those like little uh sacks that spawn in the enemies right it's a, it's a pretty hard boss battle to do, I'm not gonna lie. All those enemies with 80 health running up on you is hard, but that's the thing. The new addition of the grenade in this update does make it a little bit reasonable, and it's still not the easiest quest in the world, but it is more reasonable than what it would have been if this grenade wasn't introduced, and hopefully this grenade tactic is one that will be helpful for you, especially since as you are leveling up, you should be able to acquire some of these burglar skills, you should be able to start picking the locks, and you should be able to start acquiring acquiring grenades yourself so i do think it it's definitely more possible once you take into account the inclusion of grenades and given the fact that many of you guys will probably be getting that witch's quest i wanted to make sure you guys saw how you could go about it and there like if you want to get a little bit risky there's definitely a way you could do it where like you toss the nade and just in the last split second you run away from the blast radius before the enemies have the chance to and then you should be able to walk out of there pretty scot-free but the way of playing it safe is to freaking yolo toss that nade at your feet stay by the nade and be ready to heal up although that does also involve all those zombies smacking you and doing a ton of damage so it does come with its own trade-offs and whatnot but that's just part of the grand scheme of things but hokey dokey my artichokes we got a little bit of this place to clear out now and we also have like no armor left over either so this is gonna be a fun one let's just go ahead and gather the troops right here so we could try and use a little bit of the spread shot and maximize all the enemies that we could take out but like i was saying that notification bell will be keeping you guys as in the loop as possible about all the newest of info coming out about the game and there we go we got a nice little horde of these guys shotgun raid oh my god we are butt naked that is not good we're also way slower than we were before oh no 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 oh and we're waking the neighbors too wait this is not good uh, maybe these guys will drop enough stuff for me to be able to like open up a chest i don't know but we're definitely able to get plenty of shock and rain up in here oh my god big hit to you mr chomper and let's just take out the zombie officer before he arrests my naked butt and then probably eats my brain because he is a zombie he might be an officer but listen zombies got one priority and that is brains but like i was saying with that notification bell anytime any new info does come out about the game we are staying absolutely as in the loop about that info as possible and usually that is about upcoming updates we're always sharing 
that info keeping y'all in the loop with it and not just that oftentimes we will break down that information to further see what to expect within the future of last day on earth within future updates connect it to like info that's been released in the past to give us the clearest look at what to expect and also right now i'm going to try and show off a couple of those locked chests like over here there is a locked door that you could go ahead and uh, plop on open and within there will be a couple of locked items that you can go ahead and open up yourself as well i'm just going to use that sorry about the burp there pistol drizzle for the time being let's just try and take out this ride zombie over here and put him in that slow-mo mode and that well there's, there's a locked chest here but you do you do need to open the locked door in order to get to these chests so i think their loot has been buffed and as you guys can see you can get some survivor diaries aka easy peasy exp out of them and here's the thing you can actually go ahead and what i should do and what i'm going to do moving forward is save up those diaries because we have a little something known as b complex back at home and even you know maybe you have like the skill from the trader that doubles the exp not the trader the healer that doubles your exp for a certain amount of time right uh, you want to have that applied before you read the book because the book is affected by that EXP gain so you can get more bang for your buck that way but I'm thirsty and I honestly thought it would bring us up to another level and I just wanted to apply a skill but here we are without a level so feels bad man but uh, no worries with all the activities we got left in store for today I still fully expect a level to be coming our way but over here this guy is protecting a locked locker over there and that's actually where we got our first grenade out of last time so a little interesting thing to know and like i'm saying like this is pretty close to the entrance of the police station so like every couple of days what well, you got to clear out the lobby which is empty a couple of these hallway zombies and that one guy right there and you have a locked chest awaiting you right over here and i'm crossing my fingers because let it have another grenade no way no way no way no way no way no ah no grenade today but some swap boots which is actually the perfect piece of swat armor for our current butt naked situation because it looks weird but yo we can actually move at maximum movement speed which is at the end of the day kind of the most important things that helps us avoid hits stay away kite enemies all that type of stuff but all right there's still one more locked area that i do want to get into there's also a little bit of baked beans i want to get in my belly and a little bit of the water i want to get in my belly too and then we got a couple of dudes up in here that we got to deal with there might be a ton of zombies that run up on us once i kill that guy i don't know I'm just trying to stay kind of like incognito and not draw the attention of some of these dudes. Just kind of draw them in maybe one by one. Come on, don't don't bring all the enemies. Oh, they're bringing the whole gang. Well, luckily, we have the healer skill that gives us an extra 20% melee damage. And we have our 38 damage machete, aka the god chetty, that uh, with that boost does 45 damage. So, yes, it's amazing. It also comes with an active skill mod. I love it. No need to tell me twice, especially on choppers like this guy who pretty much heal off of their attack speed. And our active skill slows down their attack speed and let's freaking go as you guys could see we got ourselves a skill over here and eh, it's not really anything super crazy but hey i'll take it i ain't complaining and here ow you freaking douche couldn't you get out of here I, oh i got the reach that you don't i'm a machete you straight through those doorways and as you can see there is a heavily armored door over here with chains locking it up and all that the whole shebang protecting one chest and last time this chest had a survivor diary maybe today it will maybe a grenade or something like that oh no granata today but a survivor's note that we are going to save this time for when we have that exp boost and instead decide to go ahead and bring it on home and also that notification bell will keep you guys in the loop with every single video y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well and we also got some enemies to deal with over here that i'd like to we don't have a whole ton of heals as you guys are seeing but i listen we still got a couple of guns a little bit of melee here we're gonna try to put in some work and show you guys how the nade can pretty easily be used within this context as well and that's gonna be helpful because there is a new quest that requires you to clear i think 20 waves total that doesn't mean you have to get to wave 20 by the way from what i've seen that one quest that requires you to do waves within the police station actually just requires you to do 20 waves total so you could like go over here do like 5 10 waves at a time come back maybe use a electronic circuit to restart it whatever it might be and all right, I'm not going to use it on these dudes because these guys are just, uh, they, they, that was like two dudes. I'm not going to grenade freaking two dudes, man. Also, uh, I do need to watch out a little bit because eh, 
We are naked, so we're not- we don't have the SWAT armor that helps us withstand those blasts when we usually get ourselves into them. Uh, let's go ahead and heal on up with a little bit of the beans and whatnot. And, uh, prepare ourselves for hopefully our first- there we go, we got a decent little- decent little thing of zombies over here. And let's just go ahead, I'm going to- oh, no, 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 okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it over that way and- Woo! Okay, I don't know- oh, 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 there we go, we managed to get one of them. Obviously, it's gonna be a little bit better if you could actually, like, properly, uh, jabate them within that area where you gotta get them, but I think I'm saying I'm currently butt naked, which I wasn't expecting with my magical backpack that doesn't even have straps. I love it, baby. This backpack's just magnetically attached to my back. But uh, again, you could use those grenades within a similar context and just kind of try to kite the enemies within the blast radius. As you guys saw, they do have about a two to three second timer after they're thrown until they get blown up. So you could also take those into account. But I just want to showcase that and show that, again, those grenades will come in handy within that context. But I personally, if I were stockpiling nades, depending on how many of them I'm getting, I think mainly I would try to use them for taking down... Uh, whatchamacall for taking down the witch whenever needed man because otherwise like I, here's the thing the witch quest requires you to totally defeat the witch whereas here you just gotta defeat 20 waves total or whatever of the police station so if you redo the police station a couple of times especially if you have like a lot of uh whatchamacall or like if you redo the wave system a couple of times especially if you have a lots of the uh, extra electronic circuits to utilize it'll it, it'll come in pretty in handy and it'll i don't know man you know because you can just take out a couple of easy waves at a time within the police station but over here you you need to defeat the witch so if i were to recommend anything save it for giant hordes and specifically unless you have something else like for example the spread shot on the shotgun you want to save it up for there because that grenade will be your cheapest way of blowing all of those waves of zombies running up and you sky high but uh, oh yeah the notification bell is also going to be a great way of staying up to date with every single of the latest updates coming to last day on earth and sometimes even we get to check them out early like we are over here in update 1.11.6 and whenever that happens we are always showcasing absolutely everything that they have to offer to the fullest extent so you guys know what to expect what to do strategies to use any and all that type of jazz when the full version does come out that you guys can get your guys's hands on and just in general even if we don't get it early we're still showcasing absolutely everything regardless of how expensive it is what weapons we got to use i'm more than happy to blow through all of my loot i'll even drop i'll make my wallet cry a little bit if i have to and drop some money money, money on the game to show off other things in that regard as well because listen if i take an l but that helps you guys catch a dub guess what i'm happy with that but all right we got a raid lined up that we will hopefully be able to go ahead and catch a w at and that we are going to be testing the grenades at as well so uh i will talk to y'all and a sec. And for today's raid, lads and lassies, we are going to be constructing everything that we can to help us uh, break through some of the barriers that are going to be presented in front of us in the form of walls. But good news is that walls have not stopped us in the past. But with the addition of grenades, there's something that I really, really want to test. And that is if the explosion from grenades could actually be used to damage stone walls. And you might be like, Star, you're absolutely crazy. Well, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Specifically, the game that I thought of when I had grenades, or when I heard grenades were added in, and when I saw them firsthand, was uh, Rust. Rust is a pretty popular survival game over on PC, and within it, C4 is the main method of breaking into stone walls. But grenades also do damage not as much damage as the walls of stone but grenades do still do damage and that's where i wanted to see if maybe kefir over here little cheeky cheeky has decided to allow grenades to maybe be used in their explosions in some way because the way that it works in rust is one c4 will like blow up a wall but it takes multiple grenades i'm not sure exactly the number to blow through a wall so i kind of do want to test that a little bit here and see if anything could be done with that and i'd love to hear your guys thoughts around this as well and if you think that i like your guys' thoughts around if this is something that you might want to see added because personally man i i don't know i just think like given the fact that grenades are a tangible item similar to c4 that you, i mean you can't stack them unlike c4 but they're similar to c4 in that you have them and they are one use items and i think the fact that grenades have been added like they should be implemented kind of as mini c4 maybe you could use like two to three grenades in exchange for like one c4 because then that would promote people to raid more often and I, I don't know, man. I'd love to see that happen. Like, honestly, like two or three C4, not two or three C4, but like two or three nades being.
being able to do what a stone wall does or what a c4 does so blow through a stone wall or for example be able to destroy those sacks over within the uh, blind ones little forested area I think those could be really cool uses and that's something that I'd love to see but the question is is this something that exists in the first place so uh, let's go ahead and we'll toss three grenades max at this door knock knock it's party o'clock baby bada bing bada boop nope okay so that did not get blown up at all that's a bad sign but we did see that grenades do have a noise meter they create nine noise per hits which is mm, i think maybe we'll try and use two grenades max here and just kind of absolutely chuck them at the wall <gasps> and here he is winding up for the pitch and it's a 100 mile per hour fastball it's a strike and not not good enough of a strike though yeah i it's i don't know man i it doesn't look like it's a thing currently in the game but i i don't know I'd love to see it somehow implemented and give grenades an extra use besides just being thrown and kind of make them a utility as well. Just because, like, I think there's a lot of potential for them to be utilities, you know? I... I don't know, man, especially depending on their rareness and how often it is to find them, because as you guys have seen, locked chests and containers have a chance at having them, and they're definitely not the easiest thing in the world to find. You know, they're obviously more common than C4, but... I don't know, I think if there's some way, like maybe three grenades equal one C4 or something, it'd be pretty cool to see. But it does appear that C4 is going to need to be our uh, poison of choice when we blow through that wall right over there. And we're also going to use a shotgun. I know we're breaking like all the freaking raining rules over here. We're going extra loud today, lads and lassies. So let's just go ahead and round them up and shotgun rain to, oh my god, a significant amount of you guys. Game? Don't, don't, mama. Woo! Jesus, dude. I'm telling you, the game plots against us. It hits us with a lag spike at the worst time imaginable. Every time. Every time. It's the worst time, but okie dokie. Enough shenanigans with you guys. There goes our pistol. We do still have our machete we could use that we are probably going to need to use. And within here, there should be some pretty significant chests. And are you guys seeing this? Is it just me or why? These chests are like really weird. Look at them. Shouldn't those things be green? Aren't, aren't small small boxes should be significantly greener? Dude, it's almost like raiding chests have been like grayed out or something. Y you guys are seeing this too, right? I'm not crazy because this is uh, interesting to say the least. Ooh, the contents of that box are also very, very interesting in a very, very good way. Okay, 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 I get it, boys. I get it, you're excited to see me. No worries, no worries. I got some shot and gun rain for the alls of y'all where that came from. And there goes the last of our extra available shotgun rain. Also, a couple of dudes did survive that blast. Let's head on over to using a little bit of this. Let's go ahead and hit these guys with some tendon rips and slowly but surely slice through their health before they slice through ours because our health is taking a little bit of a beating here i'm not gonna lie but boop, not as much of a beating as their head because well i wouldn't really say a beating but not as much of a slicing as their head if we want to be cheeky uh but yeah we already got some decent stuff out of here so despite the fact that this raid looks like it's out of a freaking black and white movie because these things are just straight up a disgusting shade of gray uh, I mean, we got some okay stuff popping off, and we still got plenty of chests that's a blow through over here. I believe we have six chests or so. Ooh, okay, nothing out of this park, but these things can be recycled into copper, which is why those are a very nice find. And they do contribute to your electronics level as well. So if you have a really high electronics level, high chance of getting copper out of batteries out of your recycler. And if not, you can kind of get a copper out of them while you're recycling them to try and get a higher level. You know, so there's a couple of benefits that comes along with that. Uh, there we had a phone. Eh, nothing super wild, super crazy. Also, I know that there's also like one more room over there and one more room over there within this raid. Those do not... Hello? I'm actually going to probably grab that armor. But those do not really contain anything super significantly better. Your best bet is to... Whoo, we're naked. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, your best bet is to be utilizing... Uh, oh, mama, dude. We got a lot of enemies on our case, actually. This is getting a little bit concerning. Let's take out all the fast guys, and we might try to go a little bit loud here. Come on, fast biter. Catch up to me so I can take you out, because there's a lot of enemies I want in my head right now. Oh, not the noise trap. God dang it. Freaking noise trap, dude. Right, I'm trying to get a little bit of separation from these guys so I could heal up. And uh, TBH, I kind of want to try and 
I don't know exactly what I want to try and do. Okay, here's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, let's just go ahead and we got to equip all this armor right there. Pick up some band-aids. Whoop! Skedaddle on out of there. And then we got to put some band-aids into our inventory. We're doing this in like classic hit and run fashion over here. There we go. We got some heels to work with. Things are millhouse. Hit him with the tendon rip. We got the heels, and we also have that extra. We'll use the slightly dinked up katana to slice through the rest of the health that these abominations have. So we're walking out of here with a set of SWAT armor after our SWAT armor broke and a couple of weapons. And honestly, we came here with a pretty good amount of stuff. We're not really going to... We, we were pretty efficient. You know, a lot of the stuff that we brought, we ended up, like, using while we were here. And oof, the 42 damage that we do now, man. Let me just say, it's just not as satisfactory as that 45 that that gonchete brings us and seriously man that combination of mods we have on that thing the bone handle and the active skill mod the gut hook blade just makes that thing out of this world i love it in the words of kanye and Lil pump but all right let's get a little bit of water up in here so we can get rid of these two things so we could only bring the single most valuable things that there are available to us um speaking of which let's go and put some of this stuff away into our chopper to make sure that that is all nice and dandy because we got a couple of weapons and honestly dude i'm i'm pretty happy with the batteries out of this too full durability katana and remember this is a raid that we are doing from the raiders so a lot of the stuff that we get we want to put away into the chopper because then when the chopper ultimately or whatchamacall when the raiders ultimately ask for their fair share of the loot they do not take into account anything that is in our chopper, and that is why bringing our 8-slot off-road chopper is ideal. Not only does it give us the ability to store more stuff, it gives us the ability to hide more stuff from the raiders. So, really expensive things that they know are very valuable, like, for example, really good guns, VSSs, maybe metal, like steel, copper, all that jazz. Uh, they won't know a ting about it. Not a ting about it, Sonny. Now, unfortunately, when we break into this last chest, thanks to the noise that we made via that disgusting noise trap. Oh, my goodness gracious. I will happily steal a turret off your hands. Thank you. Thank you. But there, there's going to be a big one on our case pretty quickly. Um, so having known that, let's just make sure that we have a decent amount of stuff in our inventory before we decide to dip ski doodle on out of here because we're going to be dipping in a hurry and in a rush um but for now I, I don't know i guess i could grab that atv wheel if we need to get rid of something i'm more than happy to sacrifice some of these hatchets if there's something valuable in this next one that we're about to open but uh okie dokie from the words of a wise man yolo oh yeah he's definitely gonna show up we're at 93 noise whoop, 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 whoop. okay nothing super valuable well guess what one of our chests broke hello big one i am off of vitre shining the hell out of here thank you for your hospitality but off vitre shine until you my friend and guten tag enjoy the wiener schnitzel uh why i don't know it's just the accent i'm sorry man wiener schnitzel is delicious though man i think i had some one time when i went to germany mm, mwah, magnifique but uh, with that said and with that done, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival with its uh, pretty heavy grenade theme that I really hope that you guys did enjoy. And I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts around, you know, maybe if Kafir should improve the utility of the grenade and just in general your guys' thoughts around the grenade. But I don't know. I really think that the grenade could have a use as kind of a bit of a C4 substitute if, this is the big thing, if you have enough of it. And I don't know, I just would really like to see something come out of that as well. But so like I was saying, that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Last Downer Survival as we go and clear out this area over here. And uh, I was trying to see if there maybe there's a finger awaiting us or something. But uh, yeah, oh, we don't even have to sneak attack to take out some of these dudes because we do 40 something health right now. But uh, can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about the grenade. Best of luck in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store the gift card giveaway. Not to mention best of luck to you guys and gals. Get in the chopper gas tank and join in the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Again, the true friend perk. Leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very, the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base. Going out on the dopest of raids. Defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you and getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna go ahead and do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one hold up i gotta smack a toxic spinner in the face really quickly Boop. <laughs> good stuff baby see it